Welcome to my Nightblade build. It's a bow build. Osmer's race. Let's go into the character sheet first. As you can see, we got all 64 points in stamina. Um, low health, decent stamina, decent stamina recovery. 5,186 base weapon damage. Percent crit. Penetration, 9,387. Physical and spell resistance is 17.7. Decent, although this is not a build that you stand and fight with. You snipe at a distance and poisons do the work. Um, we're running uh, Bewitched Sugar Skulls as food. And you can see all the Oaken Soul bonuses here, so you know it's an Oaken Soul build. And we're running the uh, the Warrior Mundus for weapon damage. And we're running Empire Stage 4. It's up to you whether you want to go 3 or 4. If you want the Undeath passive, a 4 gives you the uh, Sprint Stealth, which is kind of nice for uh, repositioning and escaping. But you do take a lot of fire damage. And sustain is also an issue. Like I said, I'm not going to stand and fight on this build. Now for the sets. Running five pieces Swamp Raider. That five piece bonus adds 579 weapon and spell damage to your poison and disease damage abilities. So. The abilities in a bit, but uh, we're running that for that reason. Uh, running double dot poisons, the crown lethal poisons. to interrupt my video like that. Alright, let's get back into the sets after that rude interruption. It's kind of funny, actually. Alright, so, um... Where were we? We did the uh, five pieces Swamp Raider, then we've also got uh, five set pieces uh, Gladiator, which is Kvatch Gladiator's craftable set. And using this for the five piece bonus again, Gain 1411 weapon and spell damage against targets that are at or below 25% health. So as your targets get uh, low and low and lower and lower in health, you're going to get damage. Um, also running one piece of Valken Scoria, and we're doing that for the uh, 1487 penetration. Um, I think it's the best uh, monster set for the one piece for penetration. Um, we're also running the Oaken Soul Ring, obviously. So that's uh, pieces there. Um, on our head, medium, it divines, divines on all of it. A Valken Scoria is in pen, and some kind of combat going on out here. All good. Just don't like getting surprised while doing a bid vi build video. Yeah, I shouldn't be doing this out in the middle of the sewers, I guess. Um, I've run all purple on these. I uh, haven't golded everything out yet, because I was still testing it, but, you know, it, it's doing fine at purple. You don't need to gold everything out. Um, running Bloodthirsty on these two pieces again, because uh, under 90% health, you gain up to 315 weapon damage. So, again, as their, uh, the opponent's health goes down, your weapon damage goes up. So, running all Divines... Except for the one piece of in pen, I haven't had a chance to change that, but that doesn't make that big a difference. All right now for skills, running toxic barrages or ulti. Base damage on this is uh, eighty-five four hundred over four seconds, and then uh, forty-six four eight seconds after a one second delay. Uh, shadowy Disguise, obviously. It's our cloak. Uh, poison Injection. Resolving Vigor, because we need a heal. Lethal Arrow. 
and Merciless Resolve. Now this is kind of a flex spot. I use Merciless because it hits like a truck. Uh, another 21,000 damage there for base. Heal for 55% of the damage if you're within melee range. Um, you can also swap this out. It's kind of a flex spot you can, uh, depending on what other skills your group needs. I sometimes uh, use uh, Mark Target on that or the other morph which is uh, Piercing Mark. Piercing Mark gives uh, Major Breach and uh, detect marked enemies even if they stealth or cloak for uh, three seconds. And it's a, it's kind of a handy thing to use as a group because you can mark the target and they can see it and everybody can focus on the same target. Right, now for champion points. So in the green tree, using the liquid efficiency, it's, uh, it's helpful when you're uh, using potions or poisons. You have a 10% chance not to consume it, which kind of makes your poisons last a bit longer. Uh, movement speed, Steed's Blessing, see an extra 20% movement speed out of combat. It's nice. Sustaining Shadows, need this as a Nightblade, reduces cost of sneak by 1% per stage. Blue tree, running Deadly Aim, 6% damage done, Thaumaturge for 6% damage done over the dam uh, with the damage over time abilities, which is basically damage. Uh, Wrathful Strikes, you see 205 weapon and spell damage, and Untrained Aggression, another 150 weapon and spell damage. Red tree, running Celerity gives me more movement speed again. Slippery, which is vital for escaping. Uh, hardened gives you uh, increased duration of crowd control immunity, which is nice for escaping again. And uh, just took rejuvenation for the extra stamina. Health recovery doesn't matter because stage 4 vampire on this build, you have no health recovery. And of course, take all the passives you can. Right, so how do you play this build? Well, first of all, you get your Merciless Resolve up. So, some targets to shoot at. Get Merciless Resolve, you need to hit something with five light attacks or two heavy attacks, one light. Uh, heavy count, uh, attacks count for two stacks, you need five stacks. As you just heard, that is the uh, so this is all coming up. I guess we're Vampire Stage Four. We get to keep her healing up. See pretty decent damage numbers. So basically, when you encounter a player, it's no good. The other way. Rotation briefly, so we find something to shoot at. There's a target. So your rotation, hard target, using your uh, right joystick. You know, we can hold down on it. It's the same thing that brings you in and out of stealth. It's Laro, light attack, poison injection. Laro, light attack, poison injection. Laro, light attack, poison injection. Really quite easy. Follow that up with an ulti and merciless resolve. So there you have it, that's the build. Quick and easy. Not a unique build, I'm sure a lot of people are running this. I think it'll work in Battlegrounds as well. Cyrodiil. Probably not great dueling, but... 
it's it's a fun build to run around in the sewers with. The only thing you gotta watch out for because you are stage four vamp is your health. No passive health recovery. Have fun.
the fight. Into the fight. Hearts full of rage, full of thunder and glory. Swords in the wind. Swords in the wind. Crossing the sky. Crossing the sky. Lords of doom bring an end to the storm.